over this past weekend after a storm of DC news cancellations and shifting priorities hit the net. A lot of websites were running with their own articles, info, and insider details in regards to what they know is going on. One unfortunate outlet decided to tag James Gunn in these antics, and what followed was something I'm pretty sure most of you have seen, which has backfired on James Gunn for being a bully? What? So you guys know that the last week has been rather rough for DC fans. A lot of cancellations, a lot of news, a lot of rumors, many of which were addressed by a statement that James Gunn made confirming that many of these details are true. And again, people have been writing articles, making videos, and speculating. But one thing that really hit all the websites, um, meme culture if you will, on comic book pages and all that, was somebody saying, hey look. James Gunn does not like Henry Cavill. Turns out this was Den of Nerds. One of their followers decided to tag James Gunn. Hey, do you care to debunk this? And what happened next was, uh, well, you guys know what happened next. In case you missed it somehow, I will uh, just post it on here. It'll scroll down to this exchange. And where it ends is just James Gunn stating, and I quote, So weird. You seem so plugged in. Anyway, I just had 40 people reach out to me to say you just got kicked out of your mom's basement. So sorry, man. End quote. Now, people can see what James Gunn is doing here, right? What I got from this is James Gunn is dropping a lie by saying, hey, people reached out to me to say this is true, so it must be true. It's a joke, but also an insult the same way they called him out. At least that's how I saw it. Either way, though, this made so many pages. It, it was, um, it was something. And again, I don't know Den of Nerds. I have no idea. Could be good guys, bad guys. I don't know. Probably guys just making content because they love, you know, making content. Why not? That's what we're all doing, right? Uh, so this isn't about them. I have nothing against them personally. You know, wish them the best of luck. But what spawned after this was kind of amazing because I started to see people demanding that James Gunn as a CEO shouldn't be doing this. He, uh, you know, shouldn't do things like this because it's unprofessional because he runs this company and he has a, uh, you know, he has all these followers and he's an influencer online and he can uh, kind of influence how people act. Which I find funny that people are saying that, but again, you know, he's out here saying, somebody's saying I don't like Henry Cavill and spreading a lie, and they're an influencer. So what's the difference? You guys see what I'm saying here? If somebody goes out there and says something, and the person that you're saying can literally debunk it and goes, that's a lie. That's a lie. Like, that's defamation. You are using your platform for defamation. So James got fired back with the same thing. And it's clearly a joking manner that he did it in. But again, still, he's responding to claims that people are making that are literally not true. So this, in my eyes, was one, hilarious, two... It is what it is, and James Gunn is going to keep doing it. The moral of the story is, don't lie about James Gunn. you think people would know by now, but no. And you know, people recently like went after James Mangold for Indy. Because a rumor online about the status of Indy 5. Listen to me, it is woke, a female. And when he fires back, he's like, no, none of that's true. We've never had any test screening. Somehow he's bullying and a liar for defending a product and fake reports that people are spreading online. I, I just don't get it. When the same people spreading these lies many times have been called out or had exclusive scoops and inside knowledge that was debunked 10,000 times over when the final product came out. It's, it's just insane to me, but... I guess that's how this works.